In this video, we will provide an overview of object detection using the HAR feature-based cascade classifiers. We are going to use HAR feature-based cascade classifiers to detect cars, traffic lights, pedestrian stop signs, etc. in this image. The method was proposed by P. Viola and M. Jones in 2001. It is a machine learning method where a cascade function is trained on a large number of positive images, which means that it includes the object we are trying to detect and negative images, that is, the background. Paul Viola and Michael Jones used the idea of HAR wavelets in the HAR feature classifier. After millions of training images are fed into the system, the classifier begins by extracting features from each image. HAR wavelets are convolution kernels used to extract features. HAR wavelets extract information about edges, lines, diagonal edges. This example, we overlay the HAR wavelets over the car. One, the integral image concept is each pixel represents the cumulative sum of the corresponding input pixels above and to the left of that pixel. The concept takes in the pixels of an input image as such as this to get the integral sum for the highlighted pixel. We will add everything to the left and to the top since there is nothing to the left and top. We will get a sum of one just by adding itself. To get the value of the second pixel highlighted, we will add one, which is to the left and itself too, and get three. Let's try this once more. To get the integral sum of the highlighted pixel, we will get the sum of two, four, one, three, two, and itself three. We will get 15. The Viola Jones paper used a 24 by 24 base window size as an example, and that would result in more than 180,000 features calculated in the integral image. Two, the algorithm selects a few important features from a large set to give highly efficient classifiers by employing the use of an Adaboost. The idea is to set weights to both classifiers and samples in a way that forces classifiers to concentrate on observations that are difficult to correctly classify. Therefore, it selects only those features that help to improve the classifier accuracy by constructing a strong classifier, which is a linear combination of weak classifiers. In the case of the 24 by 24 window example used by Viola Jones, over 180,000 features were generated. Using the Adaboost, it cuts it down to about 6,000 features. Two, the algorithm selects a few important features from a large set to give highly efficient classifiers by employing the use of an Adaboost. Let us illustrate with cats and dogs. Each weak classifier splits the examples with at least 50% accuracy. The misclassified examples are then emphasized on the next round. The idea is to set weights to both classifiers and samples in a way that forces classifiers to concentrate on observations that have been misclassified. The process is repeated until it has minimized the number of errors and constructs a strong classifier. A strong classifier is a linear combination of weak classifiers. In the case of the 24 by 24 window example used by Viola Jones, over 180,000 features were generated. Using the Adaboost, it cuts it down to about 6,000 features. Three, cascades of classifiers are then used. This classifier groups sub-images from the input images in stages and disregards any region that doesn't match the object it is trying to detect. To detect the car in this image, the classifier groups the features into multiple sub-images, and the classifier at each stage determines whether the sub-image is the object we are trying to detect. In the case that it is not, the sub-window is discarded along with the features in that window. If the sub-window moves past the classifier, it continues to the next stage where the second stage of feature is applied, until it is sure that it is a car.